Welcome back to Deep Oak and Stereotypes, and in today's video, we will be going over the various races and the people who play them. As always, only about 10% of the people watching these videos are actually subscribed. And also, it's a stereotype, so don't take it seriously. And I hope you're ready for this video, and that you're ready to subscribe. Wow, I wonder what the stereotype for this race is gonna be. Definitely not femboy, probably gay, and you definitely make a lot of uwu furry catboy jokes XD. Also, you're probably a furry. If you're none of these, then you're probably just too broke to rule the race, and you would be happier with literally anything else. Especially since 90% of the people in this game hate Felinors and actually plan to attack them on sight. Did I forget to mention there's a guild named the Felinor Aggression Guild? What a good acronym. I wonder what it means. You just like the mask. Or you realize that this is objectively the best race for PvP, because although the buff is small, racial armor is still really useful with how fast armor breaks in this game. The starter armor breaks in maybe 20 swings, maybe 15 if you're lucky, and it's genuinely a good race. And anyone with it realizes and appreciates the drip of the mask. Respectable. Drippy. And also probably edgy, because it's probably the edgiest race in this game. Nobody is going to complain about getting Ganymede, but I don't think many people want Ganymede more than some other races. I could be wrong, and this is just the race that everyone loves, but it just seems like a race that everyone likes, but nobody really loves. Either way, you could also just appreciate the fact that they get a free hat, because, you know, they get a free hat. The one that Archmage had in the Deep Book and Direct, you probably just wanted the hat. This is the best race in the game with three potential buffs to food, sanity, or health regen. That's irrelevant though, because if you have this race, you either spend a lot of money or you're just insanely lucky. Funnily enough, most of the cappers I see are rag wearing freshies, and I don't think I've ever seen a capper pass level 20 in the overworld, probably because their passives buff you in the depths with sanity and it's really good for depths farming, but you know, I just don't really see a lot of capras in general because it's the rarest race in the game, but I feel like all of you are in the depths. So if you're a capra and you're not a freshie, leave a comment because I have yet to to see any of you. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. You attack freshies and everyone you see on site. Just because you look like a monkey doesn't mean you need to act like one. Stop attacking me in the middle of Etrus when I'm selling stuff. You're not gonna kill me. You haven't killed me. You're literally just annoying. Another pretty common race meant for people who like to gank and help their teammates. You and your guild members do and take less damage from each other, making it a really good race for ganking. It's also just a fine looking race and anyone that uses it can appreciate that. More often than not, whenever I'm getting ganked by multiple people, there's at least one or two Kanors there. And man, I start, I'm starting to hate the people that use this race because they literally exclusively 4v1 for luck progression. I HATE YOU! This could be literally anyone, most common race in the game, so look at the variant. If he has blue hair, he's probably a tryhard, like me, but he's probably not as good as me at this game, because most people aren't. <laughs> I'm the number 60th sick real player in the world. And if he doesn't have blue hair, he's a, probably actually a freshie. And you can probably kill him unless you're terrible, but that's just anyone that doesn't have the blue hair variant, because the blue hair variant is the edgiest one for only the best players. And yet so many bad players with Etrian will go blue hair. I think this is just a bad race. Anyone who uses it doesn't realize how terrible Autodidact actually is, and they definitely don't realize how much harder it makes it to level up late game. Basically, anyone who's stuck with this is probably newer to the game and doesn't realize how bad Ardrit is, because Autodidact is really bad and it doesn't benefit you. And if you're wondering why, well, I guess I'll explain it here. Autodidact gives you a free stat point, but you're not gaining the EXP for that stat point, meaning that lots of the time with Autodidact, you'll get stuck at zero investment points and you'll have to end up getting EXP to level up anyway. Seltor, you get some extra HP, about a single M1's worth. Anyone using this race probably just likes how it looks because most of the races in this game are way better. I mean, they get an extra M1 worth of health, but that's not really useful. Unless you're a boss raid heavy user and one extra M1 versus an entire guild is enough to help you 1v24 an entire server of rogue players. Literally useless, they have a compass and they look like a deer. The compass is really useless and it doesn't really benefit you in any way, but most of the people who have this race don't care what race they get or they think it looks good or at least fine enough to make a drippy build. I honestly don't have much of a stereotype on this guy because this is a super common race and it doesn't really benefit you in any notable ways. So I guess just look at his weapon. Lore figure, developer, nano prodigy. Nobody has Lightborn. It just isn't. But if you do have it, 
I hate you. Unless you're Nano Nano, you're cool. Just kidding. Fuck. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, join my Discord. This video was fun. Next time is gonna be Bell Stereotypes. So you guys are definitely gonna wanna see that one. Subscribe by give me money, join my YouTube channel as a member. Press the join button and join the Discord for perks and stuff if you're a member. Join it, join it, join the Discord. Join my Discord. Join the Discord, please. Join.